Welcome to Corel Designer X5. This short video will demonstrate the power of connector lines with various shapes or symbols from the library and the flexibility in rearranging the symbols. We'll start by drawing a rectangle on the page, then duplicate it, dragging the shape with the left mouse button and clicking right to move a copy. Note the plus icon next to the cursor to make a couple more that will soon connect. We could also use perfect shapes that are ideal for creating flowcharts. Select the connector tool and notice the special red anchor points on each object. We'll use the straight line to connect these first two. The connector lines will snap to the anchor points. Let's switch to the right angled round connector. Various properties such as the radius can be modified as needed, so we'll set the radius to 0.3 inches. Now join the other two rectangles. As you might expect, when we move the shapes around, the connectors will adjust accordingly. But what's really cool is if we draw other shapes on the page, such as another rectangle, then move it over one of the connectors, the connectors will automatically reroute around the object. If needed, the connector type can be changed by first selecting the connector tool, then right-clicking on the connector and using the Convert To option. We'll change this to match the others. Now suppose we need to organize them and the connectors cross one another. Simply select the connector and use the halo feature on the properties panel. This is a great way to indicate that they don't actually connect. Now we'll use the symbol manager and draw a simple electrical circuit. The symbols can be accessed in the menu under window. But because it's already showing in the docker, we'll just select the tab. Now choose local symbols Install Symbols, then Electrical. We'll start our circuit under the Fundamental Items, then find the Battery Symbol Multicell. Now drag and drop the battery onto the page. Let's zoom in using the thumb wheel. Now rotate the battery by minus 90 degrees in the Properties toolbar so the positive terminal is on top. Next we'll find a resistor in the library and again drag it onto our page. Let's add a motor located in the Motors and Machines category and place it on the page off to the right. Just like the shapes covered earlier, we'll connect these by selecting the connector tool and using the right angle connector to connect the circuit. Of course, we may want to add a switch in series so we don't fry the battery and waste energy, but you get the idea. This concludes the tutorial, and thanks for watching.